Ridge, author of the book Watching Paint Dry. Today we're going to go over how you paint a ceiling. Now first of all, let's talk about some of the equipment that you're going to need. I recommend a three and a half inch angled latex brush, high quality. Okay, the reason I like this is because it has a lot more stability and it can hold a lot more paint than a little two inch brush or something. There's really no need to be messing around with those little brushes. One thing you definitely don't want is one of these little cheapies. This will ruin your paint job in a minute. You're going to need a roller, of course, and I recommend either a 3 8 inch or 1 half inch nap. If you're trying to roll a popcorn ceiling or something, you might even go as high as 3 quarter inch or even 1 and a quarter inch, okay? Get a high quality roller cover, alright? Don't get the cheap one that comes five for a dollar or whatever, okay? Because it makes a big difference in the outcome of your paint job. You're going to want to roll out of a five gallon bucket with a roller grid in it. Don't try to roll out of a rolling pan because you'll probably step on it and make a big mess. Now we've already prepped this room for painting. And if you want more information on that, see my video on prepping the room. Okay, now we're ready to paint the ceiling. All right. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to cut the ceiling in all the way around against the walls because the walls are going to be a different color. Ceiling is going to be white, walls are going to be blue. into your wet edge. Okay, that's going to prevent you from getting start marks like that, that especially if you're doing a color change, those can really show up. So the last thing you do before you move on to the next section, put your brush right there, go just like that back into your wet edge, and then you move on. is that if we were doing the wall and the ceiling the same color, then we would need to be cutting down onto the wall about four inches. Okay, now we've got the room all cut in and it's time to roll. All right, now the first thing is get everything out of the way because you're going to be looking up cranny. You don't want to be tripping over your stuff, all right? Now the next thing is you need to decide which way, which direction you're going to roll the ceiling. Okay, the prevailing wisdom is you roll toward the primary source of natural light that's coming into the room, all right? If you roll perpendicular to that source of natural light, you might see a shadow where your roller lines are because it'll be coming right across them, all right? Now, frankly, on a textured ceiling like this, it's probably not going to make a big difference as long as I'm doing a nice, neat job of rolling. I'm going to roll this direction, okay? Now, here's the most important thing that I want you to remember about rolling a ceiling or rolling anything consists of two steps. Number one, you got to roll the paint on, nice and thick, all right? Don't worry about being too neat or too precise. Just get a good thick coat of paint on there, okay? Number two, you got to go back to the beginning of that section and give it all one final smooth roller stroke all the way, okay? I call that laying it off. Okay, first you lay it on nice and thick, then you go back to the beginning of that section, and then you lay it off real smooth. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Now, one tricky part of a ceiling is you probably can't lay it on the whole ceiling and then go back to the beginning and smooth it out, okay, lay it off. Because it will start setting up on you back at the beginning. So you need to kind of chunk it up into little sections and lay it on and then lay it off as you go like that. And you always want to be keeping a wet edge as you go. That means you're never painting against anything that has dried because if you are painting against something that's already dried, that's going to be essentially a second coat and you might see an overlap mark there, okay? Now before I do that, okay, I've got a new roller here and I need to get it nice and wet, all right? So I'm going to dip it in my five gallon bucket a whole bunch of times. And toward the beginning of the paint job, when your roller is still dry, you need to dip a lot more to get, it, get the paint really worked in there. It's very important. Okay, now I'm ready to start rolling the ceiling. Now, the techniques that I'm going to show you here in just this small section 
would apply the same way to any ceiling anywhere, and I don't care how big it is, all right? You just need to remember a few key concepts. Now, for one thing, the ceiling is too wide for me to roll the whole thing in one stroke, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide it up into a right side and a left side, all right? Now, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to go to the right side here, and I'm going to lay it on real thick, about three, four feet out, okay? Then I'm going to go back to the beginning, and I'm going to lay it off three, four feet out, the section I just laid on. Then I go over here to the left side, and I lay it on three, four feet out. Then I go back to the beginning, and I lay it off, okay? Then I move over here, and I do the next section. Then I move right here, and I do the next section. Okay, you want to keep it in manageable chunks like that, so like I said, like you're keeping a wet edge as you go. Okay, watch. dipping when you first start because you got to make sure you get a lot of paint on there. Now I go back to the beginning. <clears throat> start right here in the middle and this is my and this is a stroke where I smooth it out, also when I was laying it off. Like that, real smooth, nice and easy. And then lay off your stroke toward the middle like that. Like that. Now by always laying it off toward the middle like that, I make sure I'm not going to get any start marks like that, which especially if you're doing a color change, those can really show up. Now my roller's starting to get a little wetter, which is nice. Okay, now I've got this little chunk laid on. Go back to the beginning and do my layoff. Nice and smooth, real even. Now, I move to my next section, right here, and I do the same thing, okay? And I'm going to do the whole ceiling like that, take it in manageable chunks, and always keep a wet edge, and always use a two-step process. Lay it on, lay it off. Take your roller, smooth it out. Okay, so now you know how to paint a ceiling. Now one other note that I would make is that at the time you're painting the ceiling, it might also be a good time to paint the inside of the closets if that's what you're going to do. Uh, often ceilings are white, and I personally like to paint the insides of closets white, uh, regardless of what color the room is, just because it makes it a little easier to see in there. Now, the next step will be to paint the walls. So see the video on my website about painting your walls. Of course, that's at howtopaintahouserite.com, where you'll find a complete series of videos on interior and exterior painting, as well as a lot of other helpful information that I've created to help you paint your house right.